good day students today we'll continue with unit 3 subtraction yesterday we have seen how to subtract four digit numbers without borrowing and by borrowing today we'll solve few word problems from the revision exercise okay the first question given is a factory manufactured 8534 boxes out of them 5421 boxes were sold out find the remaining number of boxes the question asked here is to find the remaining number of boxes when when the term remaining comes you should remember that we have to subtract the given numbers okay so let us first write down the statements so what is the first sentence given a ma factory manufactured 8534 boxes so the number of boxes manufactured by the factory is 8534 so we'll write it down number of boxes manufactured is 8534 okay then the next statement out of them 5421 boxes were sold out so how many boxes were sold out it is 5421 so what will be our second sentence it will be number of boxes sold okay so how much is it 5421 let me write it down so in the end find the remaining number of boxes so therefore the total number of boxes remaining will be 5000 1534 minus 5421 we have to subtract these two numbers so let us start subtracting them in the units what do we have 4 and 1 4 minus 1 is 3 then we have to go for the tens what do we have 3 and 2 3 minus 2 is 1 then we have to go for the hundreds what do we have 5 and 4 5 minus 4 is 1 then 8 and 5 8 minus 5 is 3 so this is our answer 3113 3113 so these are the number of boxes remaining so the number of boxes manufactured is 8534 number of boxes sold is 5421 then total number of boxes remaining will be 3113 how did we get the answer we subtracted the given two numbers okay when they ask the question as remaining find the remaining number of boxes we have to subtract them or else they may also ask you the question like find the difference even then you have to subtract the two given numbers we will now move on to the next question so the next question is the total number of students the total number of students 5 of standard 5 in all the schools of a taluk is 5728 if the number of girls is 3572 find the number of boys in the school here in this question total number of students is given and number of girls is also given so what are we supposed to find we have to find the number of boys how do we find it by subtracting this number of girls from total number of students we'll get the number of boys so first we will write down the statement what is the first statement given here the total number of students so the total number of students in fifth standard in the school in a taluk is 5728 so we'll write it down total number of students of standard 5 in a taluk is 5728 i have written so what is the second sentence the number of girls in the taluk will be 3572 girl students of class 5 so the number of girls in standard 5 in the taluk will be 3572 what are we supposed to calculate now find the number of boys in the school therefore the number of boys of standard 5 in the taluk will be how to calculate it we have to subtract the two given numbers we we'll subtract the numbers and find out the answer so let us start subtracting from the units 8 minus 2 will be 6 so i'll write it down next number given is 2 minus 7 here 2 is smaller number compared to 7 so what should i do i have to borrow one from the hundreds 
So the number I have here in the hundreds is seven. From the seven, I have to borrow one here. It will become twelve, and the number seven will become six. So twelve minus seven is five. Then come six and five. Six minus five is one. At the end, five and three. Five minus three is two. So this is our answer. So what is the answer? Two thousand one hundred fifty-six. So the total number of boys in a taluk in class five is two thousand one hundred and fifty-six. Assuming that we were able to recall how to subtract, we will move on to the next topic. That is subtraction of five-digit numbers without borrowing. Till now we have studied how to subtract four-digit numbers. Now we'll be starting how to subtract five-digit numbers. Example one is find the difference between seventy-five thousand three hundred and eighty-nine and thirty-two thousand one hundred and seventy-four. As I have mentioned earlier, if in the question they ask us to find the difference or to find the remaining number, then what are we supposed to do? We have to subtract the given two numbers. So here they have asked us to find the difference between two numbers. So again, we have to subtract the given two numbers. First, let us write down the place values of these numbers. They are unit tens, hundred, thousands, and ten thousands, and under the The place values. We'll write the corresponding numbers. So the question will be somewhat like this. Let us start subtracting the given numbers. We have nine and four. So first we should start from the units, as you all know. So if we subtract nine four from nine, what do we get? Nine minus four will be five. Then we have, then we have to go for the tens. We have eight and seven. Eight minus seven is one. Then we'll move on for the hundreds. Three and two. Three minus three and one. Three minus one is two. Then we'll move on for the thousand. Five and two. Five minus two is three. Then for the ten thousand. Seven minus three. Seven minus three is four. So this is our answer. Forty-three thousand. Two hundred and fifteen. The difference between seventy-five thousand two three hundred eighty-nine and thirty-two thousand one hundred seventy-four is forty-three thousand two hundred and fifteen. So this is our answer. Through one more example problem where they have asked us to subtract twenty-six thousand two hundred thirty-five from thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-seven. See here, asked us to subtract this from this. So, which is the number that we are supposed to write first? That is, which will be our minuend? Thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-seven is our minuend, and twenty-six thousand two hundred thirty-five is our subtrahend. So, first I have to write thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-seven, and after that I have to write this. Always remember, when they ask you to subtract one number from another number, this number should be written first. Under that, you have to write the second number. So this is what they have asked us in the question. That is, we have to subtract thirty-nine thousand six thirty-seven and twenty-nine thousand two thirty-five. See, if in the question they give subtract thirty-nine thousand six thirty-seven and twenty-six thousand two thirty-five, then you will have to write it as it is. But then here they have asked you to subtract this from this. So first we have to write this. Then after that we have to go for the this number. Okay. So let us start subtracting. From the units, seven minus five is two. Three minus three is zero. Six minus two is four. Nine minus six is three. Three minus two is one. So this is our answer. So what answer did we get? Thirteen thousand four hundred and two. Now we'll go through the exercise problem. Exercise three point one. Find the difference of the following. Difference in the sense we have to subtract the two numbers. The given two numbers are seventeen thousand ninety four and three thousand forty three. First, we'll write the place values of these numbers. After writing the place values, we'll write down the numbers under their place values. The first given number is a five-digit number, so it will be written as it is. But the second number is a four-digit number. See the place values of the second numbers. They are unit. Tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we have to start writing them from the thousands, not from the 
ten thousands. So the number will be written as this. So we have to start writing the second number from the thousand place value. Okay. So now let us start subtracting the two numbers from the unit place. Four minus three is one. Nine minus four is five. Zero minus zero is zero. Seven minus three is four. And one minus here you don't have any number, so we can consider it to be zero. One minus zero is one. So this is our answer. So our answer is fourteen thousand. Fifty-one. These are the four homework problems for today. I hope you all will solve it. Thank you.